Hi guys, I'm just back from New York and it seems it's been a pretty gossipy week. News about what's on, what's off and what's out. On is Kylie Minogue's US tour dates, what's off, Jordan and Peter's reality marriage and what's out, Boy George again from Pokey. I'm Peter Jarrett and this is Gossip TV. Crackers, look at all this paperwork. Uh, uh, DVDs and uh, my wall of gossip is full. Well, at the top of my off pile of gossip news is the uh, rumor that Michael Jackson's concerts this summer at the O2 Arena are going to be cancelled. It seems that the concerts are in breach of an already existing contract for MJ to perform family reunion only related gigs. We'll be looking at that closely to see if he's indeed going to be living at large in London this summer. Katie Price and Peter Andre have announced this week their official separation. Their marriage, it seems, is over. With this divorce pending, the couple who met in the reality jungle show I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, have called it quits after four years of marriage. Many thought that this celeb marriage would really last. Katie said she was devastated and the decision was out of her hands. She also goes on to say that Pete is the love of her life. However, all is not lost. Equally as strong as the marriage split rumors were, the rumors are afoot already that the couple will have a reunion. Uh, they may even go on to renew their vows for a glossy magazine. Well, there's some more positive on news. International celebrity chef Jamie Oliver, who recently opened an eatery on the UK South Coast in Brighton, is set to storm the American TV airwaves. A reality show stemming from Jamie's UK hit format, Jamie School Dinners, has been picked up by the US giant ABC Network. Teaming up with the American Idol host and E! Network mogul Ryan Seacrest, the charismatic duo have set out to give health makeovers to some of the most unhealthy places in the States. Targeting sites like inner city schools and workplaces, the pair plan to travel the length and breadth of the U.S., finding local resources to improve local eating habits. Produced by Ryan Seacrest Productions, ABC has already hired six hours of the project, which is yet to be titled, and the show expects to air sometime next year. She was a rock'em, sock'em combat cutie next to Jean-Claude Van Damme in Street Fighter, and then she was the naughty little green absinthe fairy in Moulin Rouge. She was a few other things since her soap heyday in the Aussie show Neighbours, and now Kylie has her acting hat close to hand again. On the heels of the announcement of her first ever U.S. tour, with a kickoff date set for September 30th in Oakland, California, and stops in L.A., Las Vegas, Chicago, and Canada's Toronto with a wrap in New York City on October the 11th, Kylie has let it be known that she's on the market for major film roles. Of her U.S. tour, Ms. Minogue says, I've wanted to tour America and Canada for years, and I know that fans have been waiting years for this. Our Kylie goes on to say, I'm thrilled that this opportunity has finally arrived. For Kylie U.S. tour date information, look beneath me now. Gossip has three shout outs. As I said at the top of the show, Boy George has been released from Pokey. Congratulations to Boy, his friends and fans and family on his early release for good behavior. I'd like to say my shout out and hello to the flying monkey in the orange mobile cell phone advertisements. Hello Mr. Monkey. I'd also like to say a very special shout out and congratulations to supermodel Heidi Klum, and Seal, who renewed their wedding vows on their fourth anniversary in a white trash-themed ceremony in Malibu Beach just this past Saturday. Well, as Eminem is set to make his debut UK chat show appearance on Jonathan Ross this week, we've got a very special guest the gossip. Guest the Eminem gossip. Three facts. Guess which one is false? Fact one. Eminem was discovered calling in to a radio station. Fact 2. Eminem is a big fan of comic books and has a very large Marvel collection. Fact 3. 
Eminem has a very similar skin condition to Michael Jackson and is expected to turn black in his late 30s. Fact 1 is true. He was discovered by Dr. Dre after he called in to a radio station and rapped live on air. Fact 2 is true. Eminem does have a very large comic book collection and has even appeared in a Marvel edition as his alter ego Slim Shady. Fact 3 is false. Eminem has no skin conditions or medical conditions except perhaps for the mental strain caused by his ex-wife Kim. Next week we'll bring you highlight news from this week's Cannes Film Festival as gossip co-host model Lindsay Ferguson prowls the party circuit. So Eminem has a really large marvel.